What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mikey. As the resident degenerate of the I'm Not Gonna Hold You show on the Barber's Chair Network, I got some of my favorite plays for the Chicago Bears uh, this year uh, for the season. So hopefully we can make some money, get in on some of these futures. Um, my first one that I really like right now, the win total for the Bears is at eight and a half. It's gotten juiced up to minus 160. So for my newbies, you have to throw $160 to win 100. That's too high for me. Um, I want to try to get you guys some money elsewhere. So the first bet that I like is the Bears to make the playoffs at minus 110. Um, last year, there were two teams that made the playoffs with nine wins, the Packers as a wild card and the Tampa Bay Bucks winning their terrible division with nine wins the rest of the teams required 10 wins or more to get in i think we're looking at a 10 win bears season this year so i like them to get in um through the playoffs at minus 110 instead of taking that win total bet uh, a little too juiced up for me um the second bet i like we all know why we're here it's caleb williams it's the caleb williams show so right now caleb williams passing yardage is set at 3,500.5. That means he needs to throw for 3,501 yards for your bet to cash over on FanDuel. It's listed at minus 112. Over the last 10 years, there have been six quarterbacks that have been drafted number one overall. Four of those quarterbacks have hit that number. I think Caleb Williams with the improved offense with DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Gerald Everett, DeAndre Swift and Roma Dunze. I think he clears this easily. So we're going to go ahead and take that. This is the one right here. This one's decent right here. The second bet that we're going to take here is Caleb Williams over 22 and a half passing touchdowns. Rushing touchdowns do not count on this. So be mindful of that while you're tracking your bet. But I really do like Caleb Williams to go over 22 and a half passing touchdowns this year. Uh, Shane Waldron, 59% of his play calling uh, while he's with the Seattle Seahawks is pass plays. Um, just for reference, Geno Smith, his first year with Shane Waldron had 4,200 yards and 30 TDs. In his second year, he had 36, 24, and 20 TDs. I think that this is a much improved offensive uh, skill set room. I will take this room over uh, DK, Tyler, and Jackson Smith and Jigba. So we're going to take Caleb Williams over 22 and a half passing yards. And if you want to get really frisky with it this is one that i like it's a season long bet it's one that you're gonna have to pay attention to every single game it's at plus 2100 dollars. so you throw a hundo it wins you 2100 bucks the chicago bears to score one passing touchdown in each game now this might be a little you know tricky knowing us we like to run the ball but Caleb Williams, throughout his career, he had at least one passing touchdown in USC. And while Geno Smith was quarterback in the Shane Waldron offense, he got pretty close to doing this. In 2022, he went only two games without a passing touchdown, and that was against some stiff competition. Uh, both games were against the Niners, and we know how that defense could be. And in 2023, he went three games without it. I think with this offense, um, Caleb Williams is going to have his opportunities. We already know that this team right now is kind of struggling in the red zone. That's what we saw through preseason. I think when it gets tight, they're going to go ahead and use their veteran wide receiver and Keenan Allen to kind of get free and get loose. So why not throw a little, a little, a little, you know, throw a little lunch money on it to try to see if they can go ahead and go to full year with Caleb Williams scoring at least or the Bears at least because it can count. It could be anybody that could throw a passing touchdown. But the Chicago Bears to record one passing touchdown in every single game this year. Stay tuned to the I'm Not Gonna Hold You show weekly as we continue to put out bets. I know I got a lot of my people that like parlays. I got my people that like singles. If you're a single better, that is how you're going to get paid long term. If you like the parlay long shots, those are always fun, you know, for a couple dollars. But the best way to make money long term gambling is to take straight bets and i got a lot of them coming for y'all this year so pay attention to the show tomorrow on friday on our opening show i'm gonna have some other bets for the rest of the season for different teams across the league so i'll let your boy